Hello and welcome to Tea Time. Grab a mob or your preferable cup and fill it up. But trust me, this is a hot tea. This is hot tea, so make the wise choice of picking the right kitchenware as this tea is sizzling hot. Permit me to welcome you to the latest entertainment news analysis show on the planet. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. I am Ife Olua Oshinke, and I'm here with a hated or love it vibe, Ife Omai, and Sisi the Ginger. Hey. What's going on? Thank you for adding the ginger. <laughs> the ginger. You have to add I'm talking it. about the That's ginger. What's, <laughs> what's the ginger you'll be giving us today? The ginger is the vibe. Tell okay. us about yourself. You're new on the stage, but I'm sure everybody's oh, wondering, like, who's this pretty lady? <laughs> Tell us about you. Oh, thank you. I'm blushing. You can't see it, actually, but I'm blushing. Okay, so my name is Cece, or but people know me fully as Priscilla. Ogenerukere, mm. Ogbevire, with a touch of worry. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just beat my <laughs> tongue. <sorry. laughs> okay, anyways, I'm a blogger, I'm a TV content producer, uh, and I do presenting once in a while, so mm. basically. Alrighty. Okay, so she'll be joining us to analyze some of the stories we have this morning, and you know how the time goes, right? Mm -hmm. We never know what's going to happen on the show, so maybe a guest will be joining us, maybe not, but stay tuned, you never know. But let's dive into the first story of the Alrighty. day. Ethan, how are you doing, though? I'm okay. Well, anymore. It's okay, I'm not, I'm not brand new anymore, <laughs> so like... <laughs> You know, it's okay. Oh my, my God. God will not skip you. See, my intro was right. right. The so. it, the it or love it vibe. Like, hate it or love it. I'm sorry, sure, yeah. You would die, yeah. I'm telling you. That's the vibe. All right, so the first story is um, Love Island, of course. I think all of us, mm. we all know Love Island. And um, it's one of the um, dating reality shows that's been on TV for a while and we've been in love with. But the Nigerian version is about to launch and it was acquired by Nigeria's Digital Play Network. It was announced earlier this year that the 2020 Love Island Island summer series would be cancelled due to COVID-19. And it means ITV bosses have another year to prepare for a new season. And mm. Nigeria and Spain is involved. But let's leave Spain right now. Let's focus on Nigeria. Let's focus on Nigeria. Yeah. Since they know is love. Like. That we're living on. Mm. We have a, uh, what's the other one that uh, they're doing? Um, mm. ultimate, ultimate, ultimate love. love. Yeah. There's ultimate love. I almost choked on that. Which is all I'm about love. love. Yeah. And then there is Bibi Naja, which is also all uh, about love. <laughs> Technically. Not really. Also yes. Anengi, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Kid Ryan and Erica. Yeah. We have the whole kid right here, Erica. You know, they, they give us situation. a vibe. They give us the, you know, sometimes. We're I mean, love, it's sometimes. natural. Yeah, so but Ozo is a proper lover. So, perfect example, also. Also, would be a good candidate for this show. I think the new word for love is dum dum. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd that be one differently. Entered. That one but, the, but, but the truth is, it, it just shows that Nigeria is a ground where we've made our country known to be very popular mm -hmm. for shows like this. I mean, yeah. imagine the amount of money they pump out every year from votes, yeah. from viewership, from sponsorship, yeah. mm -hmm. from adverts. So definitely it's a good choice mm -hmm. for them to bring it to Nigeria because yeah. love it or not, we are still going to watch and make it trend on Twitter. True. Honestly speaking, I have a very strong feeling. If done right, which I think it would because money is not the problem, the type of fame and and influence that the Love Island has, I feel like it might just be bigger than Big Brother Niger. If you if if if, mm. if you snooze too much on this, it could just be bigger than mm. that. Another thing I want to talk about though is how they're going to source for people. So usually Australia, US, they go on Tinder most of the time and then okay. swiping and yeah. act like somebody else to see the person's vibe, they're freaky, you know, mm -hmm. all that type of stuff. So I'm wondering <laughs> if they go to <laughs> <laughs> well, are they, are I they going to be getting Nigerians to be part of it or they're just bringing oh, the show? No, yeah. they're going to get Nigerians, Nigerians to be part of it for <coughs> sure. Excuse me. So, I don't know how, because I know that you don't apply, they come to you. We should go together. I, I, no, you don't We're going to give apply. them the Rick Kid Rika. You know you're like Kid right now. I'll be your Erica on the show. So, I know, love island vibe. I know. <laughs> but, but anyway, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I want to know how they're going to recruit people. Because I know Tinder in Nigeria is about 20k for two nights. That's the conversation I've heard. Oh my god. That happens a lot on, on Tinder. So I'm I'm hoping that they can find really months. good people. I haven't heard the gist. Twenty K to pass through the night. You know? Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, to yeah, pass to through. Mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't bow cheap, you know now. Okay. Twenty K is like You see that's why he's kid wire and I'm Eric. Calm down, please. So, don't let my upper run away. I'm not so, kid wire. I need <laughs> your pass in life. <laughs> 
Can somebody make me their project? <laughs> Please. Please. All right. So, big shout out to um, the Love Island bus mm. that is coming to Nigeria. We look mm. forward to that. You know, like yeah. the ultimate love. Some people actually found real love. That's the angle I want to well, actually I actually haven't seen anyone get married out. They're yeah. all engaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think um, we're beginning to embrace the courtship <laughs> culture. Like, like you mean. want of the rings. <laughs> <laughs> you want the ring for 10 years. <laughs> but at the end of the day, though, um, I just hope um, this will help some people find true love because mm. we know how the patriarchal system in Nigeria is where mm. You know, a lot of family put pressure on the men. Get mm. married, get mm. this, you need yeah. to get married. Yeah. So if this is an opportunity for men to go on television to find love so that their yeah, parents can actually see them trying. Hey, the men. <laughs> but I put it to you. They are just there to show on TV. Yeah. And they will just come for the social media attention. Okay, we're together, take a few pictures. Yeah. Give it one year. Mm. One year is even a, a whole lot. Mm. Give it six, six or months. five months. And you will see Uncle and Auntie. They have separates. Mm. So I don't know. Let's just say, let's say Kamu. Let's nah, she talk Let Kamu. Me talk Kamu. All right. So um, we need to go on a quick break. Like she said, maybe a year, six months. But this is not going to be a year or six month break. It's just going to be a few seconds. So stay tuned. That's tea time. We'll be right back. <laughs> 